Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm logging in for the first time right after the update, and we're going to take a look at all the new stuff, the Light Dark Cocos, the, um, I think Light Dark Cocos is probably the biggest thing, because I pretty much covered most of everything, but we're going to be, you know, taking a look at it in the game, kind of, again, because, um, you know, why not? So, the Light Dark Coco probably should be here. Let me just, let me just find it first. Come on, you're, you're here somewhere, aren't you? Yes, here we go, Light Coco. Ooh, he's a... He's an HP aggressor! But he's an attacker, what? <laughs> oh my god, he's like... He's an HP aggressor, but his, uh... His stats are so bad. <laughs> he's an HP aggressor. Like, compare this, 3,600 to... And then, like, 1,700 defense to this. So like 4,000, I, I, I guess it's not that bad. Okay, it's pretty bad. Um, but anyways, I think it's still pretty good because I think it, if I if I were to get some siphoning gems, like some HP siphoning gems, I could probably gem this monster up with, uh, like, you know, just triple HP, slap it on, and then, you know, you can use that for like B10 for like slumbering city farm. I think it might actually work. I do I do actually want to test it out. I think it he definitely does have some potential. So seems pretty interesting. Please be good. Mm, 70% two turn attack down with blind. Alright, this is this is Defender type. Alright, this guy's good. This guy's a uh, really good Titan monsters. He actually actually he's really balanced. His look at his stats. I don't know why they classified him as a defender. He has way more HP than he has he does defense. He has like really low defense. But you know this is a this is an excellent ti Titans monster. Um, definitely grab as many as you can. Yeah, I'd I'd be stacking one of these on every single one of my teams. I think that's it. That's that. That's pretty much it for the two Cocos. I want to see the the buff to the stats. They they did say that they were gonna buff the like RGB Mihos and stuff. I'm kind of more interested in looking at the Water Miho and seeing her. Oh, she's at 2,000 now. Still pretty shitty. What about Wood One? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Water Mona. Yeah, Water Mona, probably. It was like 1,800 or something. I think Mo Water Mona was like... I think this was 2,400. So it's like a 200 attack buff. Um, Dang it, where's the Mona? I think it was like at 2,400 before. Now it's at 2,800. All right, this is this is awesome. This is so good for new players. You can now, if you thought B8 was a joke, wait till you see B8 now with 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 your new Water Mona. Um, but we're gonna be taking a look at the uh, at the uh, Omnioji and the the Shinobi and the the uh, the the Verd. Yes, the Verd. So. I just want to make sure that shinobis are are single target. I'm pretty sure they are, right? Assault the enemy from all directions. It feels like it's a single target. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it's AOE. Damn, but this looks really good. Holy shit, dude! I love this design. Look at this. Oh, this is this is this is beautiful. Oh, look at the water one. Oh, ooh, I, I really like this color. This is so nice. The light one looks really nice as well. SP Siphon. Attack Siphon is 30% of enemies SP. We don't even know. Dude, the dark one would be insane. It's like a dark snowy. Um... But yeah, very quickly uh, go through go th going through their skills. They have a new s the fire one has a new skill called SP Siphon, which basically steals the enemy's SP bar. I don't know if this is going to be resistible. 80% defense down, you know, pretty good. Can't can't really go wrong with defense down. The water one's a double hunter for water, and she also has like pretty high like very high attack actually. So she's she's going to be a really really good nuker. Basically, like you know, outclasses water valk and all that. And the wood one is 100% seal and petrified. It's like a weaker version of the water nightmare. Um, the light one, SP siphon and shock, 70% for two turns. It's not. It's not too bad. It's 
seems seems pretty good. Uh, the dark one is basically like a dark version of the snowy, so she's like definitely super super strong, and really high attack as well. Like this is probably the strongest. Like this is this is probably like crazy strong. Um, so yeah, that that is that's pretty much it for the for for those ones. The the fire one is um, a courageous strike monster, and uh, he seems to be single target. He's courageous strike with attack down, so this is definitely really really good for titans. And then this one is a um, elemental edge monster with SP siphon. Oof, fifty percent. I'm guessing this is single target. Like it seems too OP for this to be a AOE. And the the way they worded it made it made it seem like a single target. So this is going to be a pretty good nuker. Um, this one is SP siphon adrenaline. Heals himself. He's relatively tanky, so I guess you can probably use him for arena defense. I think he'll be pretty annoying. He'll just keep stealing your SP bar. And then you won't be able to kill him because he'll like get his SP bar full really fast and then just start healing himself. So it's like and he's also really tanky, so it's like really hard to kill him. Um This one seems really nice. He's got Predator and a HP siphon. So also balance type. Actually that's pretty good. Because then he can do damage and then with his second skill he can basically like self sustain. The dark one is um, is a hunter with SP siphon. This is like, and then I, I think he's single target, so he's basically like a a dark Gatito, but like stronger. Basically, he's like a stronger dark Gatito. Um, yes, my music died as well. Uh, moving on to the bard. The bard is going to be the new rebirth monster. Where we'll take a look at the fire fire first. I actually want to look at the like because we already took a look at those skills. More interested in the monster design. And this looks pretty nice. I I really like the fire one. I think I'm gonna grab as many fire one as I can. Just for for Titans and stuff. Yeah, they they definitely look really nice. I mean, can't can't say no to waifus, right? Alright, anyways, uh, so that, that, that's enough. That's enough of checking them out. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at their skills. Um, you know, this one has blind and courageous strike, like super super good for titans. Her stat distribution is really even as well, so can't really go wrong with this. Um, where the f where where is it? This one has petrify and seal. Pretty much, pretty pretty shitty. Um, <laughs> that's that's all I can say. Pretty shitty. Uh, attack down, defense down. This is actually really useful. Like attack down, you can pretty much use this for titans as well. Providing attack down, defense down is also really tanky. Um, also has attack lead, so global attack lead can't can't really go wrong with attack down and defense down. And then this one has SP siphon, but she only gets it on crit, and she also has like a AOE heal. This is like the water nightmare light succubus, you know, the the type of AOE heal. And her stats are, I don't know, her stats seem pretty balanced, but, um, you know, you kind of have to boost her crit rate up for this to be useful. I don't, I don't know how strong the SP siphon skills are, but maybe they're, like, super OP. And then everyone needs to grab one. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see after people start testing them out. So this one is sap and silence. Um, I mean, the three turn sap might be pretty good for B10, but it's, all, it's all also on first skill. Um, but the silence only lasts for one turn, which is kind of... Pretty shitty if you compare it to other other monsters with silence, like the the Dark Yaksha, who has a two turn silence on 80, and uh, the Dark John, who also has a two turn silence on 80, or the Dark Leo, who also has a two turn, a oh, 60, yeah, 60 percent two turn silence. Now that I think about it, I think Dark John's just OP. She <laughs> she has an 80 percent two turn. But yeah, that is that is pretty much it for the monsters. Now uh, the skill book system seems to be out already. So, I think only the Mihos and the like, the Yukis and stuff have the skill book system. But basically, you can you can upgrade your skills. So like the oh wait wait wait, wait all right all right all right we're gonna take a look at all the can I can I take a look at the skills over here? Am I able to do that? No, I'm not. I have to own the monster to take a look at their skill level ups. But we'll take a look at the important ones. Uh, let's see what fire fire succubus can do. Passive skill effectiveness, ten percent. Passive skill duration, plus one turn. So she has a hundred percent three turn armor break. Are you are you 
are you are you kidding me? A hundred percent three turn armor break. Like how, she's already like best nat four basically. Like she's she's already pretty much best RGB nat four. They're they're buffing her even more. Let's let's look at the light one. What can the light one do? Ah, uh, it just only increases damage dealt. But passive skill effectiveness it boosts up to five percent more. So it's like fifteen percent SP bar boost. That seems pretty nice. That seems really really strong. Um, let's see if the water miho can damage dealt. Activation rate, yeah, I kind of expected it to be like that. The wood one um, is stun duration, so it turned from a two-turn stun. Oh no, it's a armor break. Oh yeah, I forgot. I thought it was armor break. Um, but it it used to be a sixty percent for two turns, so it's become going to become sixty percent for three turns, and then the stun um, activation rate is going to increase by ten percent, so it's going to turn into a seventy percent chance to stun, which is not too bad, especially with them buffing the the Mihos and stuff. Um, I'm actually more interested in like Yuki. Like she's if she can. Oh, dude! Activation rate up twenty percent. This is gonna be sick. Dude, she's gonna, she's gonna be so sick. They're, like sapping B10 for days. Wait, what about Dark Miho? I I, I forgot about Dark Miho. Damage dealt five percent, so basically just a damage increase, gonna make her uh, make her stronger. I think that's it. Who else is there? There's I only remember Miho's, um, Succubus, Coco's. Oh yeah, Coco's, but I don't I don't really have any Coco's. I guess we can. I guess we can grab a Coco from, like a wood Coco, like everyone has one of these. Can definitely grab a wood coco and look at look at his skill upgrade. Man, my music is like dead. My music is so dead. Okay, so turn it into stun activation rate up ten percent, passive skill activation. This only this is only got increased by ten percent. Hmm, doesn't seem that strong. Oh wait, what about fire Yuki? Wait, what about fire Yuki? Wait, is this a triple square fire Yuki? Is this part of the master race? All right, this one is one square away, but it's already good enough. I guess. I guess we'll. I'll settle for that one. Ooh, the armor break activation rate. It's gonna turn into a eighty percent armor break for two turns, and then this is gonna turn into a seventy percent armor break for one turn. I think she's gonna be pretty strong as well, just for like a fire nuker. Um. I think that's pretty much it. There's the Cocos. Like, Cocos aren't really all that important. I can't remember what other monsters have the these skill ups. All I remember is the Mihos, the Succubus, and the um, the Yukis having them. But this is insane. Like, this this doesn't seem right. 100% 3 turn armor break is like... it it It's too strong. It seems way too strong. Like, holy shit. Um, I'm not complaining. I, I love it. They're gonna they're gonna be introducing the skill books soon, so I still don't know where you can get the skill books. Maybe it says over here. Does it say where you can obtain these skill books? Must be five stars and higher. You need a skill book. Skill books are special texts found in story regions and special dungeons. Rumors that you can get extremely rare skill defeating certain legendary astromons. So basically, um, you get them from killing legendary astromons, which seems like it's pretty hard because you have to like encounter them first and then you have to kill them in order to get the skill books. But I think that's pretty much it for the new update. Um, what is this thing? Oh, it's just telling you to get that tiger package. Um, Hero rebirth in information, or yeah, the rebirth thing isn't isn't updated yet, but I think st skill books are now in the game. So yeah, start grinding, <laughs> start start grinding hard for them. I can't remember what the other monsters that can upgrade skills is. I think that was it, or was it sirens? Maybe it was sirens. I remember it was Miho, Succubus, um. Yuki's and then like one more monster and Coco. I think that there's only four. 
Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all there is to it. But man, I'm gonna I'm gonna start grinding for skill books, try to upgrade some of my monsters, try to get faster farm times. Can you imagine like if I buff up all three of my dark mihos? Um also, I think la next rebirth, I'm going to try to grab some some light cocos. I think light cocoa would definitely be really nice. I'm going to try try to grab as many dark ones as possible because if you think about it, the dark ones, as long as you get them, you can like skill them up infinitely. So like next month is like mad rebirth month. I'm going to be rebirthing like mad, um, trying to grab as many as I can. Like I don't even care what I get. I'm just going to grab as many as possible. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and good luck on hunting your legendaries. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.